in this video, we're going to demonstrate how to add a new user to Maximo Manage in the Maximo Application Suite. It's a two-part process. First, as an administrator, we're going to add the user to the suite itself. And then in the second part, as a Maximo administrator, we're going to grant security access to applications in Maximo Manage. So let's start out here. I'm signed in into the Maximo application suite as an administrator. And you can see that because I have this gearbox and my top right hand toolbar. If I'm a non administrator, I wouldn't see this gearbox. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to bring up the administration apps. These administration apps have everything from the different applications in the suite to managing licensing, but what we're going to focus on here today is users. So in the user management application, I'm going to physically add a new user. Most organizations will have some sort of active directory system and the users will be automatically synchronized, but doing it manually in this demonstration highlights the business rules and what is actually happening behind the scenes. So if you never know what to do in the whole application suite, just always follow or look for that blue button. So I'm going to go ahead and click that blue button that says create user and I'm going to follow the fields or the steps that it prompts me for. So first it says I've got to identify who this person is. Well, in my case, I'm going to call them Maxwell and his user ID it says it, it recognizes them and it can't be changed is Maxwell. I can give him a primary email. Excellent. And now I can follow or expand the additional sections to add the information. My username is going to be the same up here, but let's look at the password. Do I want it auto generated or custom? In my case, I'm going to create a custom one and I'm going to input my password. Oh goodness. Let's see if I can do this right. I'm just take a quick peek at it. Yep, that looks great. I can say if I want that sent in an email or not. In my case, I'm just going to leave it as is. I also have the ability to modify those pass password lengths and restrictions. You know, do I need special characters, etc. But I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going to go really simple today. And again, I can look at any other information that I want to put in here. Um, it's Maxwell Smart. Excellent, and his title is my demo user. Oops, nice. And again, fill out any other information, but what I want to focus on now is the license entitlement. How many app points is this user going to require? Concurrent is my shared users. Authorized are making sure that this user always has point access whenever they access. Again, I'm just doing a, a sample here. I'm going to give him five app points. He's a premium user, authorized access. And then I'm going to come down here um, and also look at administration entitlement. He is not an administrator of the suite, not an administrator of Maximo. I'm not going to do anything over there. And then I can just verify here in the bottom that everything looks good. I am pretty happy with how this all came out, so I'm going to go ahead and create my user. Creating a user can take a couple minutes. And first, I have to make sure I look at the message that's displayed. It's saying, yep, I did not send the or check that box to send my password. So it is not going to be emailed. Uh, is there anything else here that I want to make sure? Yep, I know my username is Maxwell. Password's unrecoverable. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and close. And then my user is going to be created. And again, this is creating the user in the application suite. Now I'm going to come back in just a minute after this is complete and then we'll head on over to Maximo Manage. All right, excellent. My user has been created over here in the application suite and I can see that now that he's all set. So now what I want to do is I'm going to log out as my administrator. This may or may not be a separate role in your organization, but I'm going to highlight the differences here and now sign in as my Max admin. As I sign in as my Max admin, I just want to focus here a minute, make sure I put my password in correctly. Excellent. I'm now going to see a screen that looks slightly different. What's different about this screen is notice in my top right hand side here, there is no gearbox or toolbar. He doesn't have access to the mass admin capabilities. However, he is a Maximo or manage administrator. So I want to log, launch or log into Maximo manage, which I can do here. And now let's look at our new user. 
So to do that, I'm going to go to my recent application, look for users, and we added Maxwell. Let's make sure he's here. Perfect. Here's Maxwell. This is the user that we added in the application suite. I can look here and make sure everything's all set. Maybe I want to assign this individual a supervisor. Let's just do an action here so we can see how easy that is. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. As I'm doing this, it's really interesting because you cannot add a new user in the user application anymore in the application suite for Maximo Manage. You have to do it over there as the admin for Mass. A little bit, little bit different to get used to, but super simple, super easy as you move forward. Let's click on the groups and let's see what happens over here. By default, my new user is granted access to the everyone and the default regular. I can never say that, those two groups there, but I want to add something, right? I want to give him more access. How do I do that? I could do select groups in the uh, blue box here, or I'm going to just do plus, right? Who do I want to give him access to? Well, let's make him an uh, inspector group. Perfect. Let's add one more. And as I add these groups, I'm not going to use my full five app points that I, oops, I already had inspector group, try something different. Let's try maintenance, perfect. And let's go ahead and save that. So now what I've done is again, I assigned my user a supervisor. I gave him access to two different security groups, inspector and maintenance. Another thing I might want to do is I want to assign him a labor record. So let's go ahead and make him a labor record. Let's find our person here who is Maxwell. Again, this is all done for me automatically. I don't have to do that. Oops, perfect. Maxwell, uh, let's make him Bedford. Uh, excellent. Let's go over to crafts. What do we want to have him a craft of? We want a inspector. We got an inspector, perfect. The other craft we want to add is now a, let's make him a mechanic. Mechanics are always good. Uh, let's just make him a general, there we go, second class, perfect. So really quickly, we gave him access to those two crafts. He's a labor record, he's a person, he's a user. Wow, he's he's got everything going here. Now again, if I think back to what the point access that I gave him in mass, I gave him access to five points. He doesn't need all that with what I've just given him. This is just a sample demonstration here. So again, now the next step to bring this all home is to sign in as our new user. So I'm gonna log out as my Maximo administrator who gave him access to those um, different applications. So Maxwell, let me enter my password. Perfect. Is this logs or logs in or logs op open? My new user, Maxwell. Again, he doesn't see a gearbox. He's not an administrator. He clicks on manage with health. This is what I gave him access to. But again, I sent him up in the maintenance in the inspector security groups. So I can see that it's displaying perfectly. I can see all the, this, um, this is the start center assigned to the maintenance group. If I click under work orders, here's my inspector and my technician applications that are enabled with the maintenance group. So look how simple and easy this is. Again, to recap, we added that user as an admin to the application suite. Then once that user was added and synchronized with Maximo Manage, I went in as the Max admin and granted him access to various security groups so my user can now seamlessly work within the application suite. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.